teacher show. That's right, the teacher show went into labor and we were born. <laughs> um, but today, uh, on the stage, we have Christella. <laughs> and Kendon. <laughs> I am Kofi. <laughs> and our special guest, Kyle Gossett. <laughs> we're going to do some make a for you. No idea what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm gonna catch my breath because I'm fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm not fat and I'm catching my breath. Wow. I'm just cute. Okay. <laughs> um, hey, we need a suggestion to get started. What's something that makes you lose your breath besides dancing? Sex. sex. Of course, sex does. <laughs> and, so, and I heard exercise too. Right. So those so, sort of work together. <laughs> um, when the lights come up, we'll do something about sex and exercise. I'm so glad we put this gym in the house, babe. It's a good, good idea. I know, man. Yeah. I've been at this for like, you know, like seven seconds, and I can already feel thinner. <laughs> you look thinner. I do, don't I? After seven seconds? It's well, amazing. It's, it's, amazing. It's, it's like riding a bull, right? <laughs> you either win or you lose. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to win. You always win. You always win. Well, and you keep your hands up always. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're doing really great with your Pilates yoga. Thank you very much. Yeah. This. This shit kicks your ass, you I know. know. I know. I, I made fun of Pilates for so long, and I really feel stupid about that now. Because <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> but you know what? We hey, New Year's resolution. We were gonna like, like change ourselves, and by changing ourselves, we would change the world, babe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right? It's really hard, and I don't mean that like. In a nice, cool, sexual way, I mean that like it's <laughs> difficult. It is really, really difficult. All I can think about right now is Cinnabon, and my god, it's so <laughs> melty and yummy. And it's just, can you, can you feel it on your tongue right now? Uh, uh, You're also in my mouth, Cinnabon. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Are you, are you daydreaming out loud again? I'm, yes, I'm sorry. There is a Cinnabon in my head right now. It's a really tasty Cinnabon, my God. If I could share it with you, I would. Oh, hold on a second. So, so you're keeping your dream Cinnabon out of our relationship? Well, I... Yeah, I guess. For you screwed up. You weren't supposed to tell her about me. <laughs> no, I mean, I knew, I knew that there was, there was maybe something else, something else going on, you know, that you, that something else had your heart, but I didn't know that something else had your brain, and that it's located at the mall next to the delicious, delicious Auntie Anne's pretzels. Oh! <laughs> Hi, it's me, Auntie Anne's pretzels. <laughs>
Svaro's pizza is my favorite pizza. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so turned on right yes, now. Really oh, let's go to the mall. Yeah, let's oh. do <laughs> if you have it. I'm in the mood for pizza. Well, this is a Cinnabon, honey. Uh, I don't know. Look, if you can't get me a pizza, I'll take my business elsewhere, Cinnabon. Well, look. <laughs> look, I am, I am an employee of Cinnabon, and I work magic in the kitchen. So we'll make something happen. <laughs> <laughs> magic in the kitchen? Oh, my God. You're Dr. Cinnabon. <laughs> what does they talk so much about? It is a high, like the Cinnabon <laughs> of the famed Cinnabon Emporium in the <laughs> Netherlands. That's my fanfare. <laughs> if you can really make pizza happen, then I'll believe that you really are Dr. Cinnabon. But if you can't, then you're just another medium wage employee that works at the mall. <laughs> That's your fanfare. <laughs> Yes. You see, I, I am a constructor of pastries. That is what I am about. That is what I was born for. That was what I was bred for. I come from a long line of pastry makers. Are there not dough in pizza? Indeed. What Doesn't do you think that make it a pastry? What do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> I'm taking cinnamon roll pastry dough and making it into pizza dough. I'm stretching it out as much as I can. <laughs> Back on top again, Doctor. No <laughs> sure believe. That's my life, a roller coaster of fanfares that are positive and negative. <laughs> <laughs> well, you stop it right now. I will give you 30 seconds to make a pizza and have it in front of me. Otherwise, I will take my business elsewhere. There's an Auntie Anne's right down the street, and they will make a pizza. Well. Challenge accepted. Cheese, pepperoni, olive oil, in oven. There's my Jeopardy fanfare. <laughs> Wait for it to cook. Yes. I got an express, express button. Jump, jump, jump. Faster, you motherfucker. Thumbs <laughs> up, doctor. Is there? There is a pizza. I told you. Dr. Cinnamon does not disappoint. What's your trick, Doctor? A doctor never tells. <laughs> oh, I don't think that a doctor has to tell. I, what if I were to say that your trick is simply yelling out the ingredients as you make the pizza yourself? <laughs> what if I went into my own kitchen and decided to yell out pepperoni, cheese, oven? I bet I could make it a pizza in just the same amount of time. You think so? Or perhaps you'd like to switch me places. Try me. Come on, doctor. <laughs> Let me know when my time has started. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> the fan <laughs> tells you! Express money! Come in! Boom! Oh, I do believe there's still time left if you'd like to let it cool down. <laughs> now who's on top, Dr. Cinnabon? I mean, we made the same thing. <laughs> and yet mine was made faster. All right, give me a chance. Let's go, let's do this. <laughs> Well, it was a nice try, but you didn't yell out the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I have come to your establishment for some sex. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place, sir. Excellent. I am 85 years old, mm -hmm. and I have never engaged in sex. Never? No, never. Well, and I have been diagnosed with a terminal disease. Don't tell me, just write it on the clipboard. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> 85. Terminal disease. <laughs> Great. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't worry about filling out page two. That's fine. We've got everything we need. I'm sorry I misunderstood you. No, you're fine. Have you met Alberta? Not yet. Hey. Hello. 
Is she to your liking, sir? I think so. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, okay, well, uh, well. You're gonna fit in just fine. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Alberto's one of one of our best. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you say Alberto? Yes. Yes. That would be just fine. Oh yes. yes. <laughs> Figured before you start working your way up, we'll start with Alberto, and later on you'll find Alberto. <laughs> I'm not coming out! <laughs> not yet, Alberto! I am eager for my education. Yes, of course. You must start at level one first. She's a wonderful trainer. Alberto is a she? Yes, Alberto yes. is a she. Fantastic! <laughs> I I'm sorry that I didn't recognize you by your appearance. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I am 85 years old and I have a terminal disease. You know, I'm going to tell you that's the best come online I've ever heard. You know, I wish I, they trained me in that in my youth. Right? You know, and just to tell everybody that, that I was 85, that I was dying. Could I make sweet, sweet love to just one or two or 17 of the most beautiful women in the world? <laughs> but we don't have any beautiful women here. Just Alberta. <laughs> she sounds amazing. Doesn't she? She's a doll. <laughs> Alberto, I find you quite an intelligent creature. I would like to tell you that I have already peeped twice whilst you've been holding your shoulder. <laughs> I imagine these fingertips. Magic, I say. Oh, I know! That's three. <laughs> oh my god, sir, are you okay? I, I, I'm sorry, am I flushed? I tend to be flushed when I come. You're a little flushed. <laughs> You're very flushed. Mm. My god, sir, you might be ready for Alberta. I feel very, very good right now. Alberta! <laughs> hey, are you ready for me? <laughs> Nice now. <laughs> I am 85 years old and I have a terminal disease. I am 96. <laughs> I have just had sexual relations for the first time in my life. Is it hot? Oh. Oh. No, it's just <laughs> you. Yeah, it's totally just you. No. High five. I feel your heat on your hand. <laughs> I just need to be studied a little bit. It seems. Everything is getting dark. There's one thing oh. you need to know. Oh, yeah. You are having sex. Yeah. Old people sex. Oh. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. Is it good for, for you like it is for me? <laughs> I, I think it is, Alberta. I think it is. I, I think if only I could see right now, I'd enjoy watching the Golden Girls. <laughs> Why else do we do this three way? <laughs> well, I know my exit. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the big leagues, kid. <laughs> and, and it's okay to die now. That's, that's the good. idea. Just leave your wallet on the counter. Just <laughs> die. We want your money. <laughs> there you go. This is a life well spent. I think. I think. I think. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Die! Oh. Hey, we have enough money to go to the Cinnabon now. Let's go! There's no break. I don't smoke anymore, Kyle. Why aren't you cool? Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes sometimes I'm I'm cool, you know. I know. You know, until until my wife, you know, leaves me for another man. Has she done that yet or are you just <laughs> forecasting? <laughs> I actually I actually seen it. I'm a prophet like Isaiah. <laughs> See your wife cheat on you with another man? Yeah, in my dreams. Oh, no. Was it hot? <laughs> they were on a treadmill, so sure. <laughs> <laughs> I like you when you're on a treadmill. You do?
Do you? Oh, sure. Yeah? I can't stop doing it on a treadmill. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> doing it on a treadmill is one of the coolest things ever. Is that what I'm missing? Probably. Along with the smoking, that's disgusting. Look, man, you're gonna insult me on my smoke break. I can just find another place to smoke break. <laughs> as long as you don't get within 30 feet of the front door, and there's a street. Sorry, guys. It's my break. <laughs> <laughs> You smoke still? Oh my god, that's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, are you are you just like dosing up on heroin? <laughs> yes. Okay. As long as I'm, I'm not judging, I'm just curious. It seems like a massive upgrade to what I'm doing. <laughs> that's a that's a gateway. That's a gateway. It's like smoking, then tobacco, then straight to mainstreaming heroin. <laughs> straight to? Straight to. There's no like, don't pass go. Yeah. Don't collect two hundred dollars. Don't stop at Auntie Anne's. <laughs> straight. straight. Straight to heroin. Straight to heroin. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This is my smoke break. <laughs> on the one thing that's holding me up right now. Oh, oh, okay. Well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and keep sitting, if that's okay, because I'm young and selfish. Oh. Okay. So, um, but there's one over here. Do you need some help? Oh, getting to well, it? I Everybody. might need some. Oh, a fireman's carry. Here we go. Lovely. This is good. It's about the God 
machine. That's a literary reference. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Yeah,